Uh, hello. Uh, first, I would like to advertise my blog, nazud.wordpress.com. Uh, unless you're seeing it from the blog, uh, please come visit and check out more cool uh, iPhone development blog uh, posts. Anyways, uh, the video is in English because the blog is in English and I don't want to uh, go with two different languages. So that's it for the well, okay, this is the previous tutorial that I will override, and let's start a new tutorial. So, what what is this tutorial about? Uh, it's ab it's a, simply about uh, making a scroll view with paging enabled. Uh, this is the first uh, the the part one tutorial of two parts tutorial that will teach you how to make an infinite scroll view. Uh, as you can see. Uh, and the following projects yes this one as you can see as we move along number two comes in number three comes in number four of course it looks much better when we go with go uh, fix some stuff this was just a test and as you can see we can scroll indefinitely with paging and more uh, views come in so as far as the first part is concerned, we're just going to make it a simple scroll view with paging. Now for the basics, let's jump to Photoshop and see what we have here. We have, first we have three scroll, uh, three uh, views, view number one, two, and three. And we also have a scroll view. Notice the scroll view is this flashing border and it's of course transparent to show us what to show us the views that are inside it, the subviews basically. So what? How do we achieve uh, paging? First, we have to say that the scroll view has two important sizes: the the bounds or the frame, which is the, simply the width and uh, height of the scroll view itself, the border that you see. And there's also another important size property which is the content size which defines the size of the views inside the scroll view itself so we can scroll uh, inside the scroll view so if the size if the content size is twice as much as the width we would we, uh, we are able to um, scroll like two pages so this is one and this is two so as far as the concept uh, what we will do in the tutorial is add a view and then add the second view and offset it by 320 or simply the, w the width of the scroll view bounds not the content size not the content width but the uh, bounds width and we add the third view and offset it by twice as much as we did for the second view which is equal to two times the width. So using this we can achieve paging as follows. And of course the position of each frame, each view is determined by the top left corner uh, coordinate which is 0, 0 in this case. And in this case it's 320, 0. And in this case it is uh, 640 and 0. The y is always zero since they are positioned horizontally along the x-axis. So this is the, the quick project that I have written. And we simply drag a UI scroll view into Interface Builder. And then we use the cool tuxedo feature in Xcode 4 to link the scroll view as an IB outlet by dragging it like this and then choosing the outlet and the name. I have already done this and when we switch to in the implementation file the very first thing that we have we should do is the scroll view set the content size of the scroll view so how what's the size uh, since we are we want to achieve paging it's almost a general rule or uh, or a thumb uh, rule of the thumb as they say to uh, get the number of pages that you have and multiply it by the width of the scroll view. So in this case we have three pages and we want paging enabled so we multiply three times the bounds width 
and of course the height since we don't have our, uh, vertical scrolling we just set it the scroll views height so the content size is the height is the same as the scroll view itself but the width is not just this area right here it is two more so it's almost like this length okay so after that we uh, initialize three views and set the background color to three distinct colors for, for convenience and uh, differentiating and the tricky part here is is the frame that we uh, set to each view notice that the first frame is set to the scroll view that dot bounds what does the scroll view dot bounds means it simply means that we want to position it at 0, 0 and the width of the, the frame is the same as the width of the scroll view the scroll views bounds and not the scroll view content uh, I think I have made the point clear about the distinction and the height is of course the same as the scroll view bounds too next we jump to the second view but before we set the, the frame to the second view we change the frame's X position and move it along the X axis by the scroll view dot bounds dot size dot width. What does this mean? This means that we added uh, the second view right on top of the first one and then we offset it by the width. So if we offset it by half of the width, it will move to the half, to halfway through but we offset it by the whole width so it will move all the way out of the scope of the visible rect. rect. Uh, you may not be uh, familiar with CG offset rect, it's simply the same as uh, if we did a frame dot origin dot x plus equals this value right here. So these two lines are perfectly uh, equivalent we uh, offset in both cases but I think the first one is much more convenient and readable and blah 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 um, finally before we add the third view we offset the frame even one more time uh, like the first time the frame was at zero zero the second time we moved it 320 before we then we added the third layer not on top of the first one we added it on top of the second one but before uh, before that we offset the frame by 300 uh, the, the width again so it will move to 640 and uh, just to understand it you could add a simple NS log statement and say frame sent at and a string from CG right and pass it a frame so we can see the frames value after we do the offset this will help us understand what is happening and finally we're done we just add the view to the as a sub view to the scroll view and run uh, the application as you can see works perfectly with three pages and it snaps on its own it doesn't stop halfway through and if we notice here the first frame is at zero zero the width and height height are always fixed and then we offset it by 237 we didn't bother get this no, uh, number because it was set in interface builder 237 this is of course just an arbitrary number we can play with the scroll view as much as we like and contrary to what some of us may think that it would break the application and it will no longer work but interestingly it works still works perfectly so that's it for the first part which included paging using UI scroll views stay tuned for the second part where we do infinite scrolling by moving the setting it to the middle first and if the user goes right we take the last view on the left and move it to the right of this view achieving infinite scrolling uh, of course it's just an illusion but anyway 
So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.